Hi guys, today I'm going to show you three different options for how you can do your project today. So option number one uses a piece of foil, some washable markers, a piece of paper, and a damp paper towel. And when I say damp, I mean pretty wet, just not dripping. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your aluminum foil, spread it out so it's relatively flat, and then draw a picture on it. And the way that you draw your picture, whatever you choose to draw, that's up to you unless your teacher has something specific that she wants you to work on. So for mine, I just did uh, a viney kind of plant. So I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole thing, so I'll, I'll speed it up a little bit. And then I also chose to color the background and I just did red. Now I didn't want my colors to blend together, so I kept a little bit of distance between my red and green but you don't have to. You can put the colors right up next to each other if you choose to. And then you're gonna set the foil aside, take your piece of paper, and you're gonna need your damp paper towel, and you wanna get the paper pretty wet. So I slowed this down to the normal speed so that you could see how much time I spend getting the paper pretty wet. This paper is a little bit on the thick side, so it took a little bit extra time to get the paper nice and wet. If you put your paper towel on and you move it and it's instantly kind of that like gray, almost see-through color, then your paper's wet enough. But mine took a little bit more effort to get wet enough. So I just wanna make sure that the paper is pretty wet in an, an area that's big enough for the piece of foil. All right, and then when you take your foil, you're gonna flip it back over so that the picture is face down. So you're looking at the clean side of the foil and center it on the wet spot on your paper and then press it down. And you wanna to try to keep it from sliding around on your paper. And then I use this one hand to hold the foil still so it doesn't slide. And I use the side of another hand, my other hand to press the foil onto the paper. And I am putting a decent amount of force, not so much so you would rip the foil, but you just wanna make sure it's pressed on pretty good. And then when you lift it off, it transfers the marker from the foil onto your paper. So it makes one print, a mono print. So the second strategy is maybe if you don't have foil, but you do have a sandwich bag or a piece of plastic, you can do pretty much the same thing, except now you're gonna do it on a sandwich bag instead. One thing that I would say is when I drew mine, I drew on the side that has that white label. A marker doesn't like to stick to that white label. So I should have flipped the bag over and drawn on the back side. So that's just an improvement that you can make on yours. Just try to color as much as you can all over your sandwich bag. Again, with those uh, washable markers. Then you're gonna do the same thing. Piece of paper, damp paper towel. Now this paper is different, it's thinner, so you can see it gets wet much easier. You can see that big wet spot. It's much easier to get this particular paper damp. So I didn't have to take quite as much time. And then the same thing, you flip it over so that it's the marker side down on the wet spot on your paper. Hold it still and rub it into place. So you're just gonna use the side of your hand and push and slide your hand so that it transfers the marker. And then when you peel it off, you have your mono print. That's option number two for you. For those of you maybe that don't have foil, but you do have a sandwich bag. But what if you don't have foil, you don't have a sandwich bag, you don't have markers, you just have your regular art supplies. That's fine too. So all you need to do for this strategy is two pieces of paper, preferably the same size, a regular old pencil and your prints. On one of your papers, you're gonna draw a picture. Again, choice of picture is up to you unless your teacher has something in particular she wants you to draw. I just did a butterfly with some grass and a little ladybug. All right, then on the other paper, I'm just grabbing some colors that I liked and you are just gonna color this whole entire paper in. The key to this is that you have to press really, 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 really hard. So make sure you're really pressing hard. It takes a lot, quite a while. I sped up the video quite a bit so you wouldn't have to watch me draw or just color in a page, but you really have to take some time and really press hard for it to work. 
that you can color it however you want. I did kind of a rainbow sort of thing, but you can do whatever you want. Just color the whole page. Then after you have it finished, you're gonna put the other one on top, but this time you're gonna do it drawing side up so that you can see the drawing. Just line them up so that they match. And then you're gonna use your pencil again, or you can even use like a pen and trace your drawing, but this time you're also gonna press really, really hard with your tracing. That's why a pen might work a little bit better. If you use a pencil, you might break that pencil. But you're just gonna trace again, press really hard over the whole thing, try to keep your papers from sliding apart from one another. And then when you're finished, you just peel the two layers apart. They kind of want to stick a little bit. That's normal. And when you're finished, on the back of your original drawing, you'll have your print. So what happens is that waxy crayon sticks to the back of that paper because you were pressing so hard on it with the pencil. All right, good luck guys.